in the book of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. The Bible says, Ask, and it will be given unto you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened unto you in Jesus' name. Shout this prayer point loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, direct all the affairs of my life in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, direct all the affairs of my life. Direct all the affairs of my life. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. We are looking on a topic. This is what to do before renting an apartment. This is what to do before renting an apartment. It is often said that not all that glitters is gold. When you are looking or searching for a new apartment, there are some things you need to do. There are some steps you need to take. In fact, there is something that you must do before you can get the right apartment or before you can know if that apartment is actually designed or ordained by God for you or not. It is very unfortunate that a lot of people have rented the wrong apartment thinking that they are actually in the right apartment. They are seeing the beautiful buildings, the clean environment, the serenity of that place. To their own judgment, that house is a house of blessing. As a child of God, you can't just say you want to rent an apartment without carrying God along with you. You must ask God the kind of house you want to live. You must ask God to reveal the kind of house you need to live. Maybe you ask the Lord whether you will fulfill your destiny in a noisy house or you will not fulfill your destiny in a quiet place or environment. It has been proven that a lot of people do good in a peaceful house environment while there are some people that also flourishes in a noisy places or environment. And this may be associated with the kind of their own destiny. To make it more clearer, there are some people that destiny did not go for loud marriage. While there are some people's destiny that goes with loud marriage. That is, everybody has to know that they are doing marriage in that environment. That is loud marriage. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, David make inquiry from the Lord. Shall I pursue? Shall I overtake? Shall I recover all? You must ask God some pertinent questions about your house. Because house is our life. House owes the part of our destiny. Yes, house is a place of resting. We carry most of our activities in the house. We sleep in the house. We eat in the house. Most of the plans we executed in life must have been done or carried out in our houses. Praise the name of the Lord. So, what do you need to do before renting a house? Look, just like I said, number one, you must pray to God. We use prayer to correct things. We use prayers to get the mind of God. We use prayers. We use prayers to get the response from God. You pray. Prayer of revelation. Prayer of inquiry. Prayer to know the kind of house the Holy Spirit wants you to live or to spend most of your life in that apartment. You must pray. Pray and let God reveal the kind of house you will flourish and prosper with it. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, our prayers command the angels to act on our behalf. Praise the name of the Lord. So before 
you are thinking of renting an apartment, you must pray to God. Pray to God. And God will not give you a response. The response could either be, there's a particular house you need to go. There's a particular house you don't need to go. As a result of your prayer, you'll be seeing some kinds of activities, symbols, or pictures in your dream that goes along with your prayers. And God could be using those dreams as a way of responding to what you are asking him to do. For example, if you pray, God, I want you to reveal a particular house to me. In your dream, you may see yourself in a whole apartment. So that may tell you that you need to be very careful because the enemy could be pushing you into the wrong house. Now, maybe you have seen the house, you love the house, you have seen the landlord, and you want to pay. And before you pay, the landlord is telling you that uh, you have to come tomorrow to come and pay your money. So during that time, you'll be praying to God. Praying to God, oh Lord, I'm about to pay this money. Oh. Is it in your will or in your agenda for me to pay this house rent? If you pay that prayer point, if you are a person that is spiritually filled with the presence of God, immediately something will be ministering to you. Something will be ministering peace to you. Peace. You'll be having peace of mind as a result of that prayer. And at the same time, you may be having fear. Fear. Fear will just grip you. So that tells you that the house you are going is bad. Because that fear is a response to your prayers from God. Praise the name of the Lord. So, not every house that looks good is actually a house that can accommodate your own blessings, that can attract the blessings of God into your life. There are some beautiful houses with beautiful problems. There are some ugly houses with beautiful blessings. So, you have to choose the one that is suitable for your own type of destiny. A lot of people fulfill their destiny, their purpose, their goals in life in a particular house. Position ordained by God for them to live in that apartment. God has already written it that somebody, you, will sh live in this place. And once you live in this place, you'll be counting your blessings. And there are some houses. God may be sending you signals. This house is a red flag. It's a red flag. It's a red flag. Don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. When you are looking for an apartment, you are seeing beds in that environment, beds. You need to pray. Because those are satanic monitoring spirits. Or you are seeing all kinds of strange, strange things in that environment. Or as you are looking for the house, you enter the apartment, you enter the house compound. And something in you is telling you that this house is a house of peace you will know. And something is telling you this house is a house of trouble, you will know. It is not every house that looks like peace. It's actually peaceful. It's not every house that looks like, ah, the environment is calm. The environment is peaceful. That does not mean that the people that are living there are peaceful. Take note of that information. There are some houses that are very troublesome, but people are living in peace in that house. So, a word is enough for the wise. Number two things that you need to do before renting an apartment. You need to ask questions. You have prayed. Maybe you are yet to get response from God. On waiting on God, ask questions. Ask people in that environment. What can you say about this house? What can you say about people living in this house? Do they have electricity problems? Are there any kind of strange patterns that are associated with some people in this house? Maybe pattern like death, pattern like sickness, pattern like poverty, people must poor, pattern like debt, pattern like people must beg in that are begging each other. So you must ask people questions. 
you must ask a question that do tenants in that house always have problem with their house rent? So there are some questions and questions and questions you need to ask them. Ask people outside. Ask that woman that is selling bean cake, Akara, on the road. Ask that malam beside the house. Asking questions. Because those awesome people, they can't tell you a lie. They will tell you the truth as it is. Other tribes can also do that also. Ask people questions about the house. Because the answer they give you will now determine your next course of action. Whether to go ahead and pay for the house or you will withdraw your interest from that house totally. Praise the name of the Lord. You must ask questions. Ask people questions around that place, even in that apartment. Because, let me tell you one thing. Some people in that house may be living good. People may be having cars. Maybe you have like four flats in that house. But there's a particular flat in that house. Anybody that enters that place, that person will be poor. But other flats, they are not having that issue. But a particular flat, that's the reason why you need to ask questions. Ask people in that environment. The person that pack out from this place, oh, the person is normal. Oh, the person does not have issue with the landlord because there's a report that a person that, that pack out from a particular flat or particular apartment and if the landlord is staying there, if you are trying to enter that apartment and you are not having that good character or relationship, that landlord will be putting eyes on you. Using that person that pack out from that house as a case study, as if both of you are together. So, before you rent an apartment, you must ask questions. Very, very important. Number three, you must be alert and vigilant. Before you rent an apartment, you must be alert. Physical alertness, spiritual alertness, you must be alert. You should not just be moving physically or carnally. You must be alert. Take notice of details, of signs, of symbols. Be vigilant. You are trying to check the apartment, but be alert. Be alert. Your feelings, what's your spirit telling you concerning that apartment, concerning that house? Be vigilant. Maybe you have a car, and the house you are trying to rent, people in that environment don't have a car. You must be alert. Be vigilant. Maybe people in that house, all of them have issues in their marriages. In fact, their partner, their wife, their husband is no longer with them. And you want to move in in that apartment with your children, with your beautiful family. Be alert. Be vigilant. I pray the Lord Almighty will give us wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And may He quicken our spirit to know the right thing to do. Because, in fact, everything is not about money. Everything is about the wisdom and the direction of God. The Lord Almighty will give you a better house that comes with a better home in Jesus' name. Shout prayer upon number one like this. Say, I refuse to rent a bad house in the name of Jesus. I refuse to rent a bad house in the name of Jesus. I refuse to rent a bad house in Jesus' name. Say, every power pushing me into the wrong houses die in the name of Jesus. Every power pushing me into the wrong houses die in the name of Jesus. Every power pushing me to the wrong houses die in Jesus' name. Three, lastly, Holy Spirit, reveal the kind of house you want me to live in. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, reveal the kind of house you want me to live in. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Now the last line. An African proverb says, Knowledge is a garden. If it isn't cultivated, you can't harvest it. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you. <laughs>